Hi friends, this is Bilal Haider and this is my 34th video lecture on expert advisors. In this video, I'll be talking about expert, uh, sorry, scripts. Uh, like how you uh, create scripts and how you can use them in your um, trading. Okay. First of all, uh, click this button right here with a plus sign on it and choose script from the list and then select next and write a name for your expert for this video I'll be uh, making a lot lot counter script that will return us the total number of lots which you have traded so far okay the number of um, closed lots okay so when we create a new uh, script uh, right here we uh, we see here there is only one function inside it and that function is start and <clears throat> let me tell you one more thing about scripts that is whenever you will attach a script to your chart that very script will be executed only once okay uh, for expert advisors when we attach some expert advisor to our chart the code written inside its start function executes on each new tick arrival okay whenever a new tick arrives the code written inside the start function of the expert advisor executes okay whenever a new tick arrives but in the case of scripts that very start function will be executed only once when you when you will drag your uh, your script on the chart that very function which is written the very piece of code which is written inside that start function will be executed only once okay so now let's start writing our code uh, to get the total number of lots we have traded so far like you can see here i have made some trades and unfortunately they are more in loss but the purpose of this tutorial is to show you uh, about how much lots i have traded so far okay so let's start writing our code so um, for this we need a for loop and let's uh, start it from 0 to and i equals 0 and i is less than or equals to make sure you select a number here which is greater than your traded um, traded uh, trades okay so I'll choose a greater number like 15 something like that which is obviously is greater than the trades which I have traded so far okay so I plus plus and now the very next thing I will I'll be going to use here is um, is the select uh, select order function select uh, order select function okay order select and we'll be selecting our trades from the history so I'll be using mods mod underscore history okay so this I this the first variable the first argument this order select function takes is the index number of the trade okay so here at the top the first thing here is at index number zero this is index number one two three four and so on so what we'll be doing here we'll select the first trade and 
what we will be doing here we will be testing whether the selected order type equals op underscore by or or selected order type equals op underscore cell because <coughs> we are not considering our closed um, uh, sorry cancelled pending orders um, or whatever okay we are uh, concerning only about the the trades which are closed um, which which were market orders okay and not pending orders so next thing we will we'll be uh, doing here we'll create we'll create a variable of type double and let's call it lot and let's set it equal to zero here above here before that um, before that very for loop okay now lot equals <coughs> um, lot equals lot plus order order lots okay so what this function will, will do whenever we will attach this script to our chart it will create a variable of type double and it will set it equal to zero then it will execute uh, this for loop and for zero um, it will select the zeroth index order and then it will check whether the order type is buy or sell then it will come inside here and that very lot which is equal to zero for the first trade uh, right here its slot is 0 0.2 it will add that 0 .0, uh, 0 0.0 into zero and that becomes the lot becomes 0 0.2 then it will um, go here and it will increase the value of i it will test the condition it's true it will come inside i equals one it will select the next order it will check whether it is buy or sell then it will come inside and it will um, add that orders lots into the variable lot which is previously 0 0.2 okay now the next order is has the lot equal 0 0.2 so that will become 0 0.4 and that 0 0.4 will be stored in this variable lot and it will continue executing until all the orders are finished and what will uh, what will be doing after after this piece of code will just alert the total number of lots total number of lots traded equals lot so let's compile it and now let's uh, test whether what we get so here you can see it tells me the total number of lots traded equals 97.29 so let's see whether it is correct or not so you can see here 30 plus 30 plus 30 60 60 and 60 60.2 60.4 60.6 7 8 9 10 um, well I think um, that's true because uh, I cannot add these numbers 
but uh, you you can see here that this uh, particular piece of code um, calculates the total number of um, lots which we have traded so far and also you can use this uh, particular script and make uh, some changes in it um, to know uh, whether how many lots you're trading right now uh, on your trade window okay just change here set it equals to mod underscore trades and it will tell you um, the total number of lots which which are there um, on this trade window okay so I made this video because I wanted to um, make a correction um, in, in, in my previous video where I have used the orders total function here with the history trades which is not correct because the orders total returns the total number of trades which are there on the trade window and not um, here okay so you must use a higher number um, to to calculate <coughs> the total number of uh, trades or ordered slots or whatever from the history so this is all for this tutorial thank you for watching my tutorial see you next time